All right, I want to show you how to convert between Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin temperatures using Python as a programming language. So let's start with a machine here. And I am going to create a program, let's call it temperatures. Temperatures.py. Because it's a new Python program, it should start with the string that your Python program running, tell the interpreter to run. Now I need to have a couple of functions uh, to convert between uh, Celsius and Kelvin and Fahrenheit Celsius and just different functions. So I'll make a couple functions. So first one I'm going to do is Celsius to Kelvin. That's pretty easy. We'll start with uh, some number coming in and let's put a comment here. So this would be Celsius Celsius to Kelvin. All right. And our function is really quite easy. We just return uh, whatever the number that is coming in plus 273.15. That's our conversion process. Pretty easy. Next one. We're going to do a Kelvin to Celsius. And as you might guess, the function is going to be pretty much the exact opposite. Kelvin to Celsius. And we're going to return whatever our number is minus 273.15. Um, all right. So we assume that Celsius is kind of our base number. We can convert easily from Celsius to Fahrenheit and from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And then if we want to go from Kelvin to Celsius, we can just convert from, or Kelvin to Fahrenheit, we can go from Kelvin to Celsius to Fahrenheit. So let's do a uh, Fahrenheit to uh, Celsius. And we'll pass in some number. And Fahrenheit. Far, far, nope. H R Fahrenheit. H -A -T, Fahrenheit, I think that's right. To Celsius. Okay. Now Fahrenheit to Celsius. Basically, you have to take off your 32 and then scale it. Turn. So let's do our x minus 32, and then we want to multiply times 5 and then divide by 9, and that should give us our Celsius. And now we want to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, which is basically the opposite. We just have to, well, convert some things. Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we do this one by taking, I want to multiply it by um, 9, then divide by 5, and then we want to add our 32 to get it into the correct scale. All right, so here are my conversion functions. Now, let's actually get some input from the user. Uh, and this is where it matters. Um, let's see, well, before that, let's actually convert, convert whatever we get in. We're going to assume we're going to get a string in. And let's convert that string, string to Celsius. It's a nice standard number. So we'll have our string come in as S. And then uh, let's see if if we have the letter C in the string, we'll assume that the number was came in as some Celsius number. And so we're going to remove this, the uh, C letter. Got the C. Obviously, it has to be a capital C. And you can do this much better in other ways, but you know, that's fine. Now we need to convert this string into a floating point number because it's probably a floating point. And so we're going to just typecast it. And that should work. Turn float for whatever our string is. 
Now, if it is in Kelvin, so if there's a K in there, in the string, then we want to remove the K, replace K with nothing. And then we want to return, we want to convert, we'll assume it's, it's coming in as Kelvin and we return it as Celsius. So we'll do return and then we use our function above, which was our K to C, K to C. And we want to pass it a value. So let's convert it over to some kind of a float and then convert it from Kelvin to Celsius. Return that. And our Fahrenheit one will be exactly the same as Kelvin except not Kelvin. So we got to remove our F again. Just uh, replace. And get that out. And we want to return our F to C because we want to come back as Celsius and we want to convert this into a floating point. And I guess if we get nothing else, we want to just crash or cause it to crash. So just return none. That always is fun. All right. Now we're going to prompt the user for some temperature. So we get a string and we'll do a raw input. Now, if it was, so it was uh, Python 2, use raw input. If it's Python 3, you want to use input. So I think I'm using Python 2. And I'll find out in a moment if I'm wrong. So what is the temperature? And then I want to get my string converted to Celsius. So string to C, my string. And then I want to print out what the numbers are. So print. So Fahrenheit would be, let's do percent dot two F and we'll pass it in our, so it's going to come in as Celsius. So we want to do a C two F, uh, whatever our temperature is in Celsius. And I like to have like a little extra space here because that makes it a little easier for me. And I want to close that right there. And then print that one. If it's Celsius, we just keep it the same, right? So percent dot two F. That F is for floating point. In case you are curious. And if it is the Kelvin, it would be percent dot two F. So the percent dot two would give me up to two characters or give me two characters after the decimal point. So I've got a C to K passing in the letter C and close that print statement right there. All right. So exit out. We'll change the permissions. Squad 755 10 and run it and see if it works. And I did something wrong. Okay, so what did I do wrong? It looks like I forgot to multiply by 5. Should point that out to me. Okay, now let's run this again. What is the temperature? Well, let's say it's a 212 F. Well, 212 Fahrenheit equals 100 Celsius. And that also comes into 373.15 Kelvin. So there you go. You can see the code, different functions to convert between each of the different types, a string to read in the contents right here and translate it to 
Celsius and then displaying it. And that is how we can convert between different temperature types.